so we're gonna change. What year is this? 2010. 2010. Uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Rear bumper cover. Basically, you start by opening the trunk. You've got three clips on each side, okay. three plastic clips. Mm -hmm. and you pull this up. Pull this one up. And then, when you get down to the corners of the bumpers, you're gonna have one screw on this corner. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna have three screws down here. They're, those are all Torx bits. Once you remove those three, then the bumper is clipped along here and along here on both sides. So all you want to do is pull. Go to the other side. You're gonna have the same bolt right here, and then three bolts down here. Pull. Then there's two clips right here. So. So once you do that, it closes the wiring harnesses. So you just unclip here. Unclip here. Go 10 millimeters for for taking off the tail light. Yeah. Yeah. For now, we're gonna take the harness off and get it out of the way. Clips up top and two clips on the bottom. So you're gonna want to press them down, push them out, press them down. Push them out. So these three, three ten mil nuts you get removed. Side marker lenses on each side. You can pop those out. Push the clip in. Pull forward. Same thing on this side. Push the clip in. Push out. Pull forward. First slide is filled in by three number seven. Or seven mil bolts. Okay. You'll have to transfer these over too. I don't know if I'll put those in the video. Okay. So you're just gonna pop them off? Yeah, those just pop off with pliers or your fingers. You're gonna to want to transfer over the backup sensors too, which mine doesn't have it. Oh, they fell off? They all ripped off, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I've got them in the car somewhere. Right. And then the lower valence piece, but you probably don't want to record that part because this is just an optional piece on the bottom. So, not all the will have this bottom piece. Okay. Most of them will have just the piece that goes here, and it's just held in by a couple of clips around the thing. So this only, only comes with um, 2010 2015 Camaro. The optional ground effects kit. 
optional ground effects? Yes. Got it. Yeah. And that's called the lower valence. Yes. It's pretty good. So you have to doctor your valence. Yep. <laughs> That's the tape? Yeah. Really, really so that's good. how it comes factory. Yeah. And it's 3M tape top. 3M tape. Double sided tape. And where can you buy that at? Uh, Lowe's Home Depot. Parking sensors, it's got two clips, one on each side. So you just want to pop that one clip out, pop the other clip out, and they pop right out. So, this so the sensors are attached to the bumper itself? Yes. So these are mounted to the bumper they're supposed to be. They ripped off. How'd you find them? They were held onto the wiring harness, luckily. Oh. Yeah. So they just push into the bumper. So, one right here. Markers in. So we just push in. Same thing on the other side.
first light. I'm missing a parking sensor and I'm missing a reverse light, so those don't get plugged in. So there's nothing to snap in, you're just taping it. Yeah, there's one up. small lineup tab, but So these just have a push tab. You can push them from the inside, push them straight out. So put them in, you just push them in. Line these up. Put that in. And then snap them in. Same thing for this side. Line it up here. Snap it in. So it clips in, in like three or four spots, and then it's got to be riveted. You need a rivet So you need a rivet So you need one of these. And a couple of these rivets. This is part number. How many come in a bag? Um, Are these the same thing or different? Sorry, I'm not if we can. Oh, they're yeah. both. I've already used two of these. They're, I think, like a dollar, two dollars a piece. Of the so it will snap, so I don't want to scare you. So you just press it in and nothing so, snap off. Uh, yeah, it basically so, so basically how it works is when you put this you put this in that hole that tool will pull this and see how the bottom is bald, it's bigger. It'll basically compress it to make another end like this on the inside and then it'll snap off the excess. Okay. If that makes sense. This whole plastic piece, which comes like this, this one's broken, but you can buy these for about $30 a piece at your local dealership. Uh, it comes with the clips. The rivets are sold separately. Those will need to be drilled out and replaced whenever you put a new bracket on. It clips in with one, two, uh, like three clips. I think there's another clip back here, right here somewhere. So there's like three or four clips and then rivets that hold it on. How did you take the old rivets out? The rivets need to be drilled out, so you can just use a drill bit. So you drill out the center of it, and it'll basically pop the rivet in, and you can pop this off. Got it. I'm able to take off uh, the old bumper because these are broken on mine. 
So this whole piece, this is part of the old bumper. So when we put the new bumper on, this is going to be put on the new bumper. Yeah, it's just a torx bit. Take out these. And these attach to the inside of the bumper. Technically, this is actually supposed to have a plastic piece that keeps going, but I didn't buy that piece because this is where the bumper snaps into. So I'm missing this plastic piece here. This plastic piece that goes. Here. So I'm this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. of what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> it's also missing a reverse line. <laughs> missing a parking thing. 